here's the good news. We've got the new Dead Rising 2 installing on Steam Deck. As you can see, I played 4.5 hours on my PC, but I want to go camping because this is looking like the last cool day until summer is here. I've got a little bit more bad news. The car is definitely not in camp mode and it's gonna get really dark and I really don't feel like setting it up because I've just had a pretty, pretty horrible week. This is what the inside is looking like just right now. It's just the fridge and the seats and all the stuff is just... I've been going through a depression. I have had a bad, bad week. Just got some grades back right now for school and I also struggled with those. And I never struggled with school, but I've been gone for so long, I guess, I don't know. I, there's no excuse, man. But anyway, I just, I wanna go camping tonight. So it's nice and cool. If you can see this, I don't know if you can, but there's a huge dust storm over there. So we can't go that way, which means we have to go this way. And we go that way, it's a dangerous area. The area I'm going to is called Cabazon. There's a huge, huge casino and big dinosaurs that I wanna see in the morning. I've never actually seen them up close before. So I wanna go check that out. But today, I just, got, it's funny, I was just got a notification on my phone. There were not one, but three robberies at Cabazon today. If you don't know, Cabazon is a huge area with a massive outlet and a, the biggest casino I think that we have here. But that's where I'm gonna go tonight. I don't know what I'm making. I don't know what I'm eating. I don't know what I'm doing. All I know is I just wanna go camp in a parking lot. If I'm taking all this stuff out anyway, why would I just sleep in the back seat? But now I have a question because I want to see if this bed can fit in this back seat. It's definitely very cozy, but there's just no room in here with it in here. Like I lose my complete access to everything. <sighs> all right, time to get up, too cozy. Oh, I could definitely fall asleep. I've been up since eight o'clock this morning and it's about to be 8 p.m. All right, just a quick, easy setup. Got the toolbox right in the back so I can grab whatever I need. Got the blanket set up right there. Oven set up right there. Got my drone for the morning. Set up my reading light. Got a couple of covers. Got the jackery set up. Fridge right there, seat belted in, which is kind of nice. I like that actually. That's that's kind of a uh, that's kind of a convenient place to put the fridge. Like if I never had passengers, I would absolutely do that because it's just right there all the time. There's no way this is gonna work. First chance. There's just no way. Nothing has went wrong right recently. And if this goes right, and people can join the server, no way. This is literally nuts. I actually got the game to run as smooth as freaking butter. Look at that. And it's on high settings on Steam Deck. I was just getting used to all the controls right now. And wow, woo. Gonna have to bring my laptop because I do have a little more schoolwork to do today. But I should essentially be done. I just have to reply to a couple people's comments. So I gotta do my laundry because I do have to go back to work tomorrow. And then let's go camping. I'm so ready. It's been like a month. All right, guys, I'm ready to get out of here. The time right now is. 9 12 and where i'm going there's a high wind warning and i have to go on the freeway right now going up there so i'm a little anxious about that super super windy it's going to get down to 45 degrees tonight so and where i live right now it's been 90 degrees like all week so i'm very excited to be in the cold and i'm going to the biggest casino in the valley like i said earlier and also we're going to see some huge dinosaurs which have been here for a very long time i'll try to go learn some history about those tomorrow because i honestly don't even know much about it i've never even been to the place and i've lived here my whole life i just wanted to say like big ups to robert from cali he is traveling right now in asia and he brought his drone and so far he's been to thailand malaysia south korea and he can't fly the drone if he does, he has to pay tons of money and there's fines and there's regulations and in Thailand they're going to take him to jail and he's in prison. 
I'm just so happy to live in like the US to where our laws are so relaxed and we have like so much freedom to just do wherever we want. You know, it's absolutely hilarious to me. Every time I film a video in my city at night, we see police. Every single time. Bro, I cannot, what the hell is that? Whoa. That was freaking nuts. Bro, I cannot wait to get to Utah. That is one of, that's gonna be my favorite thing about Utah. I remember going there and I was there for about a week and a half. And you know what I didn't ever feel like? I never felt like my life was in danger at night. And here in Desert Hot Springs, that's how I feel. Palm Springs is pretty damn great. I love Palm Springs, but here, man. This place looks freaking awesome, dude. It looks dead here, but holy crap. It's like I'm in Vegas. Man, I wish I had that van. I don't know where to go though. Whoa, this is cool. Exit this way. All right, let's go through here. Maybe we can find some parking. Can't wait to show you guys how freaking windy it is. That was awesome, dude. All right, guys, I'm here. I don't know about this place. There's so much security here. And I was reading tonight there were three robberies because th this place is home to like Nike, all like the big rich stores. And it's the biggest casino in California as far as I know. So this place is locked down tight tonight. This is definitely not the spot I'm going to stay in. But I'm going to go inside, go check it out. Play 20 bucks. It's been a while that, since I've been at the casino. So figured why not drop a 20, see what happens. And, uh... You know, not a big gambler, but you never know. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Let me just show you guys the wind here. Woo! A lot of wind. Big old place. Big old bowling alleys. Place is huge and it's freezing. Oh my gosh. I didn't bring anything, guys. I'm in shorts, as always. Ooh. Lots of Ubers, lots of buses. And like I said, big police presence right over there. Casino, California right here. You can see it the LA Times. Whoa, this place is freaking crazy. Oh, I got you. Okay. All right, I'm, you. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, as you guys heard, there's no recording inside of the casino, so why spend 20 bucks there? If there's no content, what's the point of filming? I was going to try to hopefully film and maybe win something, but eh, maybe that's a sign from the universe, bro. No gambling. So I'm going to try to find a good spot to hunker down. I don't know where I'm going to find that, man. There must have been about at least 20 police officers in that casino. And you don't want to mess around with these because these aren't United States police officers. They're tribal police. And um, any native grounds are recognized as a sovereign nation. They have their own laws. So it's not like the, you could just, you know, do whatever you want, like with US cops. Just be like, oh, okay, my bad, bro, I wasn't recording. They could actually be like, nope, give me your camera. You're going to jail and lock you up because they could actually just confiscate your camera. So let's not mess around with that. Guy was pretty chill and uh, let's see where we can go hunker down.
Hi, pretty good. How are you? Good. Go ahead and order whatever you're ready. All right. Can I just have the um, double um, double, please, and a medium fry? Double double. Any onions on that burger? Um, just raw onions, please. Raw onion, okay. And then for your drink tonight? Um, no drink, please. No drink. Okay. Will that be for in your car? Uh, yes. Okay. So I have a double double raw onion and a fry. That'll be eight eighty four. First one, please. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. For anybody who doesn't know about In-N-Out, because it's like a West Coast thing, it's slowly expanding because it's so amazing. The workers here, incredible. Best people, most awesome people, always good customer service. So I'll tell you guys a story while we're waiting here. So my mom called up one day because her order was messed up, and she's one of those people, right? Sorry, mom. And she goes, you know, my burger didn't have onion on it, and blah, blah, blah. Long story short, In-N-Out says hey look don't worry about it we'll take care of you expect a package in the mail she's probably like all right i'm gonna get one or two gift cards nah they send her 10 gift cards and the gift cards aren't like two dollars off they're get whatever menu item you want completely taken care of even animal style extra protein stuff anything you want completely taken care of 10 times in and out my one of my favorite favorite companies in the u.s hands down top two at least it's kind of interesting you can see in there a little bit. See like the stacks. Look. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I give these in and out workers a lot of credit. These guys deserve 30 bucks as far as I'm concerned because to stand there and know all different positions and do all this work because in and out there's never, 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 never an empty drive through. And my hundreds of times have come into in and out it's never slow, it's always packed because in and outs are always located besides a freeway. I could never do this job. I would have a mental breakdown 10 minutes in, there's no freaking way. And I worked fast food, Starbucks for four years, Taco Bell for half year, but this in and out stuff, there's no freaking way, man. It's just, it's way too demanding, you know what I mean? Like, give them a lot of credit. Oh my Lord. In and out has my absolute favorite fries. The best burgers. And I only got two of these because really that's all I can handle. These are super spicy, but they taste so good. If I put the light on, I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Yeah, it's just kind of gonna blast it out. Oh man. In and out though is just the best. 10 out of 10. I've tried a lot of burgers at a lot of places, and I've never found a better one, especially for only eight bucks in California is nuts. And I know some people are gonna say, oh bro, Five Guys is better, bro. And it's like $30, it should be better, even though it isn't. Anyway, my bad. I'm gonna finish this and find a spot to hunker down because I have been going since about eight in the morning and it's now 11 o'clock at night. It says a sovereign Indian nation, but the lights are out. I'm just gonna turn this on for one second here. So you can see this is my setup here in the back seat. It's pretty cozy. I was gonna put the heater, not where the vape is. I was gonna go and put the heater right here, but I don't think I'm gonna need it tonight, guys. I'm honestly pretty well, uh, pretty well insulated here. And that's the thing with the tiny car, it's pretty warm. There's a gas station right there, in and out behind me and the massive tower right over there. I'm definitely going to put um, a time lapse on that for the morning so you can see how the time lapse looks when the sun comes out. Like things are just not going great, man. Like school, it really took a beating on me this year because I was gone for so long and I just forgot like how to do everything. I forgot how to write papers. I forgot how to do MLA formatting. I didn't properly know like when things were due because the due dates aren't the same as like what it actually is. And it just, it just got to me fresh. It's so frustrating as a new student. I really wasted an opportunity when I was younger to just like not work and go to school full time and just take advantage and get it done. And I might've had a career by now, you know? And then I go down the, the loop of what if I did this and I should have done this and you could have had money by now and maybe you should just go join the military and, I don't know, I'm not joining the military, but I was like, maybe you should just go do that. And with my luck, I'll get, I'll, I'll join the military. The next day, we're going to war. What, I, I already know, I already know. I got the black cloud over my head. I'm gonna enjoy some Star Wars, man. I'm not gonna worry about anything like that. 
I got a pretty good spot here if I need to use the restroom. I'm covered. I'm completely covered. I'm going to get outside, do a little tour in the morning, but I'm not going to get out right now. It's just there are too many people surrounding me and uh, too much security. You guys saw in the video, as soon as I went in the casino, no recording. And there's signs all over here. No car camping. Oh. By the way, if you're a Star Wars fan, this series, this season of Bad Batch has been incredible, 10 out of 10. So I requested the day off of work, May the 4th, right? Because I'm a big Star Wars fan. And my boss is like, wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, I need you Saturday. And I'm like, I, I can't do it Saturday. And she's like, why, what's going on? And I'm like, I gotta go see Phantom Menace that's coming back in theaters. And she's like, what the hell is Phantom Menace? I'm like, it's Star Wars. May the 4th, Star Wars, Star Wars Day, may the 4th be with you. And she's like, I need you to come in that day. I said, well, I already requested it off. And then she goes, she told me something crazy, man. I forgot exactly what she said now, but she was like, you need to grow up. You're going to go see Star Wars and take the day off of work? And I'm like, you don't have hobbies? What do you mean? And we got into this kind of like back and forth about it. But it's like, you know what? Boss has no right to question me what I take days off for. And she's like, well, you already only work two days a week. I'm like, sorry, I got school. Got six classes. And I'm like, why am I even having this discussion with you? You don't even need to know this. Just know that I requested the day off and I'm not going to be here. I'm like, eh. Work's been getting to me, man. Working at like a 7-Eleven, I don't know. Sometimes you just get treated like trash, you know? You guys can tell in the YouTube comments section, everybody's always like, bro, why don't you get a real job? Why are you a bum? What are you, stupid? Why don't you make more money? And it's like, bro, come on, man. Just trying my best to make it in the galaxy. Morning guys, just waking up, super bummed out because my time lapse did not capture, I don't know what happened. The GoPro, when I woke it up right now, I stopped it from processing, which is a bummer, but hopefully I can make it up right now with some good, good GoPro footage from the outro. Let's see what it's looking like out here. One of the absolute coolest views ever to wake up to. And I think somebody just pulled in right next to me right here. Yeah. Looks like we're getting a little rain too. Got the car warming up and I got the drone up here somewhere. I think I put it up there. So let's go ahead and fly it around, see what happens. Hopefully get some good shots. All right, we're back in action. What a night, man. That was probably one of the best nights I've had in a while sleeping in the car. 25 minutes back home. Told you guys, this was like a little far away from, from the place where I live. Nobody bothered me though whatsoever. That's the thing about sleeping in a car, like, if I were in my old van, they'd be like, hey, what are you doing? You can't camp here. Get out of here. When you're in a car, people don't really, people don't really care too much because nobody knows. I mean, you see cars, everybody. I could just be a worker. I could just be whoever, you know? That's one of the reasons why I'm tempted to just leave my car as is and not try to make it further into a camper, you know? But uh, I'm going to go try to find a spot and fly this drone. We'll see what happens. Got it. Guys, look at this view though, this is insane. There's the car camper. Tons of people leaving. It's freezing out here. Big old clouds there. I'm not sure the drone will be able to handle it, but you know what? I'm ready to risk it. Let's go see what this little drone's got. I wanna go see the top of that hotel. And this is not advised. If you have a drone, don't do it, but this is why I have a cheap one. 
If I had a DJI that was worth any sort of money, I would not do this. Oh my God. I don't know guys, you see that? I don't think she can do it. That might be a little too much wind for the little guy. Can you do it, buddy? Can you do it, buddy? She's shaking like mad. Well guys, there's hope for a little redemption after all. <laughs> it's freezing, but check this out. I gotta run real quick because there's a dinosaur shop over there, but it's closed and I do not want to get kicked out before I get you guys some footage. But check this out, man. Look at that. This is right off the California freeway. It's got air conditioning. <laughs> I can't believe I've never been here. Look at the size of that monster right there. Looking at us. I could never imagine seeing something that big in real life. Like, just a huge moving animal. That's crazy. Wow, I'm actually legitimately freezing. Of course, I'm in shorts. I don't know how much you can hear. The wind is so crazy. Well, let's go check out this big old T-Rex. I'm gonna have to come back here one day, guys. Check out the gift shop. Ho ho ho! Look at that monster. Big old T-Rex. Got the dino dig. Static and robotic dinosaurs. You can climb inside the T-Rex? We're gonna have to do that one day, lads. But today is not that day. Look at the beautiful views, though. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Woo! Ah, I'm frozen. Oh. Heat. Heat. At least you guys can see the dinosaurs. Woo! Wow. <laughs>